Well, I got a really nice surprise the other day, a little package from uh, France, from Olivier, and uh, he's very kindly made me a couple of nameplates for this uh, little odds and ends engine. He's also very kindly made a couple for Earl as well, so I've posted those to the US and hopefully Earl will receive them uh, sometime. <laughs> um, now in this video what I'm going to be doing is making the main bearing blocks for this little odds and ends engine. So uh, Philip Duclos, he uh, machined his uh, bearing blocks out of a piece of cast iron I think. But I'm going to use aluminium so I've just cut these two pieces of aluminium uh, to the uh, maximum sort of outside diameter. And um, once I've machined them I'm going to put some brass, brass bushes in here. Uh, but the first process is to cut a groove there and there so that they actually slot in place into the frame. So I'll do that on the mill. So I found the far edge using an edge finder and uh, I've moved the table that way by the appropriate amount and now I need to cut uh, 3 eighths of an inch wide channel uh, to a depth of a sixteenth of an inch so that's uh, just over 62 thou. So I'll clean the vice up and I'll re repeat the same process on the other piece, but I'll do that all off camera. Now this block here differs in size to what's in the plan because I've taken an eighth of an inch off this edge here to cater for this boss I've added to the gear. Um, so what I need to do now is to drill the bolt holes. And uh, the plan calls for um, drilling through with a 3 16 of an inch drill bit but I'm going to use some M4 bolts, so I'm going to drill through with a 4.1mm drill bit. OK, so the uh, y-axis is still on the centre line. Now I have marked the piece up um, so I can double check the measurements. So what I need to do now is, well, I've, I've put a stop on here. I need to find this edge here. Then I'll find this edge. Divide the difference by 2 to find the centre point, and then move the mill the appropriate distance to the left to drill through and then the appropriate drill to the distance to the right to drill through. Now that should be the centre point, so I'll uh, put a centre drill on, just to double check. And then I can, uh, like I say, move it to the left and right and drill the holes. Well that looks pretty much spot on centre, so what I need to do now is to move the table that way by 11 30 seconds of an inch, which is 0 0.344 of an inch, and then uh, drill, well I'll centre drill and then drill through with a 4.1mm drill bit. Then I'll repeat the process on the other side. So I'll repeat the same process on uh, this hole here, then uh, having put the stop on here, it means that I can uh, machine 
the other piece in exactly the same way uh, but I'll do all that off camera well so far so good and now I want to uh, go over to the lathe and create the bosses using the uh, four jaw chuck okay so I've put a bit of packing in the groove and I've uh, centered on the centre mark and now I need to uh, turn a boss down to that line way to go yet and I need to get it down to uh, 5 eighths in diameter Well that's looking pretty good, so what I need to do now is switch it round and do a, a similar boss but it's only uh, one thirty second of an inch wide. Uh, once I've done that I'll uh, put the other piece on and uh, repeat the same process, but I'll do all that off camera. Well they seem to have worked out okay, so I just need to uh, mark the positions where I'm going to drill and tap. So I've just set this wiggler up to uh, get position. And now I'll drill and tap M4. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of an experiment here. Um, I've already drilled and tapped and uh, the, this side and bolted the bearing block down. And to, to find the centre of that hole here, um, I'm just going to try and use this um, thing on the wiggler. Previously, I've only ever used that on the wiggler to find the you know centre of a particular point. I'm just wondering whether that can be used on a hole. If I turn the turn it on, no. now if it was out of centre, it would wobble all over the place. So I'm pretty sure I'm on centre there. So what I'll do is I'll take the part off, and uh, I'll centre drill, drill and tap, and uh, see whether it's worked. Well, that wiggler attachment uh, worked pretty well, and uh, no doubt people will correct me if I used it in the wrong way. <laughs> um, so uh, the next step will be to um, bolt it all together and um, put it on the mill and mill through with a, a half an inch reamer right through. So it needs accurate setup does this. And I've just calculated that a half an inch reamer will fit just between those bolts. I think Earl had issues, he, he, he caught the edges of his bolts but he, I think he used probably slightly larger bolts. And uh, once I've reamed through half an inch I'll put some uh, bronze bushings in and then have another ream through at uh, I think it's three eighths of an inch. Uh, but that needs uh, quite some accurate setup on the mill, so um, I think I'll quit for the day while things are going good, and I'll uh, get back to it tomorrow. So I've attached the base to a piece of angle plate which is bolted to the table, and uh, I need to check 
that this edge here is parallel with the bed first of all. So that looks pretty good. And now I need to make sure that this is level. And uh, you'll have to take my word for it because uh, it's difficult getting the camera in there to see the gauge. And that looks pretty good. The only concern I've got with this is the outside uh, is made up of a sleeve that's slotted onto the uh, sleeve that I machined for the cylinder liner. So potentially there's, there could be an element of error there, uh, but I'm not too sure how else to check it. Well I suppose another way to check the inside bore is, is this, it's a bit convoluted but uh, we'll uh, see what the dial looks like. And I've got limited movement, um, it's probably about oh, three quarters of an inch in maximum I can measure but we'll uh, see what it looks like. Well, there's no obvious signs of uh, it running out. So hopefully we're okay to proceed. Now I'm just checking dimensions. So the distance between this point here along the x-axis in line with the centre of the bearing should be, let me see, 4 and 51 64ths of an inch. Well, 4 and 61 54th of an inch is 4.79875 so if I move the x-axis that way by that amount I should be in line with the centre position of the bearing Seven nine six eight seven five seven nine six eight five. Well, let's see if we're in line. Well, that is pretty close. I think we're about 12th hour out, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to drill on the centre point here, I'm not going to go with that dimension. And I'm just uh, treble checking everything, so I've got an edge finder on this boss as well, so I'm making sure everything is uh, as close as possible, but I'll, I'll, I'll double check with the edge finder off camera. Well, everything checks out good so far, so I've locked the uh, table, the X and the Y axis, and uh, we'll centre drill. So first of all, I'll just go through the top bearing with a 6mm stub drill. Not quite there, but I'm running out of uh, depth on the stub drill, so I'll put a normal length one in. just put a bit of scrap underneath. I don't want to go through and hit the table. Well I don't know, after all that checking um, this bottom uh, block was loose uh, so I've tightened it up and I think, I think we're alright. Um, so I'll work my way up uh, some larger drill bits uh, until I get to the point where I can ream it half an inch in diameter. 
but I'll do all that off camera. Okay, and now uh, we're ready to ream. Well, everything's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, I think I've managed to avoid the um, bolts, which is obviously good. Uh, the bottom hole looks uh, pretty close to symmetrical, um, albeit that's not a real issue at the moment because what I'll be doing is I'll put, be putting some bushes in here and then uh, re-drilling through and uh, ream into three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to leave all the settings uh, on the lathe intact. I'm not going to move anything. I'm going to um, leave this in the same position and I'll uh, clean everything up. Um, I'll machine a couple of uh, uh, bronze bushes um, on the lathe and uh, I think I'll stick those in with some Loctite 638 and uh, then I can get back to uh, drilling and reaming again. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get the bushes in place off camera and then I'll get back to you. Well, I ended up taking the main bearings off the frame um, so I could lock tight the bushes in and, and really sort of tidy them up as well. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll uh, put them back onto the frame and then uh, we can uh, drill and ream to three eighths. Now I've just realised I've goofed up a bit. Um, I was hoping 
at the same time as drilling the holes for the uh, crankshaft to drill the hole for the um, camshaft which is a certain distance away from the centre so with it being all set up I thought it would be a great idea to do that now but unfortunately the, the hole I need to drill is there not there um, so I'll have to revisit that another day when uh, I you know center it around that point and then uh, well around that point and drill through but uh, apart from that I think it's gone okay well I can't believe that I uh, forgot to bolt down that bearing block but uh, I, I caught it early so uh, it didn't really matter and uh, I could kick myself for uh, mounting it the wrong way around because it was an ideal opportunity to um, drill that hole for the uh, for the cam gear uh, but anyway it's something I'll have to do later on the only other outstanding issue or thing to do is to uh, drill some holes for the oilers but I'm not too sure what oilers I'm going to put on there uh, but apart from that it's turned out really well um, that piece of bar turns very nicely so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later.